Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and will the games play me. So we are going to be playing part, what, five? Yeah, so we're playing part five today. Um, if you guys have not watched the other parts, go watch it because this game is actually insane. The story behind it is like, mm, funny sumo. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just really scared on what they about to do with these like, because we're like, I looked it up just and the gameplay. Oh, I have to put a, um, I remember, I have to do, what's it call it? Let me get used to it, guys. I'm playing like a week. I Time remember, to play I, a commercial. Hey, Peggy! I just got back. It's been a couple of days. I'm used to, I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. Teddy Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Ew. Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Isn't this the last guy like who was talking about Peggy? No, his Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Yo, Teddy he dragging Jr. her. Keep Gallows Creek a good American town. And don't look Help at my him become bro. mayor. She looking at me? Take a swing. <laughs> For Gallows Thank you, Creek. Don't look at me like that. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. I know you want me, but I'm down. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I, I approve, approve this, this message. message. Bro, why am I missing God, what a jackass. That? 100% oh. grade A asshole. Oh. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. Oh, wow. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. It's the last yep, commercial. He played lots of sports back in the day the end, and guys. never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. Yes. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Oh. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> Another one, y'all. Let's get ready. Puzzle time. Let's get ready. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm this is Forrest that lady Nash. Who wanted that song? I <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 yeah. tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! She's just a kid. Are Where you? are you? Are are you somewhere safe? Oh my god! Oh my god! You stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. It's a kid. She's not older than yes, me. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Good, Carrie. good. Carrie, listen to me. She's not like a We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Murder house? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. And that's there's why she was predicting it. Why would I do that? Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? I don't know. What do we got? We can't let nobody die, bro. Um, okay, if I was running away from a killer, um, go to the bathroom, go to the bedroom, go to the closet. Um, closet, you can't, you, you can't run nowhere. Bedroom, there's places to hide, and the bathroom, there's places to Let's do bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Oh, I didn't even pick that up. Okay, I'll... But I feel like that, that's where I would look if I was a killer, though. Like, it's the bedroom. He's and here. the closet. I would look everywhere. Like, I don't... He's here. There's no way for her to escape from here. He's I don't... Kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Run! I should have said don't breathe. I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! I don't, I don't think there's a way for us to save him. That was the most graphic one we heard yet. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I knew it. I didn't know it. I didn't hear no whistling, man. What? Are you? 
Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, what? Isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but some guy just answered instead. Oh! What guy? Forrest Nash, what the hell are you all doing? Some it's guy. Frank Knight, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. Oh my I'm god. I'm out of here. He's you out know there, he's Jimmy. really out there tonight, Jimmy. Right? Like, were you not listening? Right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. That little idiot. He gonna be the next big guy y'all. It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Oh, Who's she's like a grown woman. Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... The whistling man. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, my God, it's the whistling man. Who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> what? Ka-chow? What the Everyone, freak? get it! Whiplash? Everyone, run! Run, bro. He said, as long as he's out that's there, not Sky. We're safe, right? You bought time, but not much. Not Guys, much at all. We have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Y'all, what the freak is going on? This is every part we play just gets crazier and crazier, bro. This is Jimmy's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. Okay, okay, it's gonna be okay, Carrie. It's okay. It's right. It's... We'll figure something out between all of you. There's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Do what? If only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Smart Forces. girl. You're free? We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... Mm. What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. Okay. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. Is that gum? Ew. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. Ew. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Or else these idiots will get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Oh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Ugh, these damn kids never learn. Okay, but real quick, um, just in case people are here that did not watch the other parts, which you should go watch because it's going to be a spoiler. So go ahead and do that before I spoil. <laughs> so yeah, first, um, we're basically like a puzzle type game. We're a 911 operator because a 911 operator for this town there's only one. She had to go help the sheriff, but the sheriff got murdered. So she's driving three to four hours away to go um, get help for this town. And we have to be the 911 operator plus radio host um, until she gets back. So we're trying to help people through the radio because that's all we can do. And this is a bunch of puzzles. People die. People live. It's a whole mess. Okay. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right. <clears throat> Folks, we're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Not playing her stupid song because she pissed me off the last time. I'm not introducing no song, bro. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? They said she's not smart. sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. 
poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Oh, okay. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Downstairs in the dark corner. Dark space in a corner downstairs. Let's see where we're at. Oh, is it over here? Oh, here Jeez. we go. They really tucked Janie away. I would hate to be here. Like, uh... Alright, let's see what we got going on. Rock on Jimmy and Jeannie. Oh, she like Jimmy dead. <gasps> she liked Jimmy. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. But if he wasn't being stupid, but she got a new job. Let's see. Good luck. I'm so proud of you, too. Aw. At least she stayed home. She's a smart girl, bro. There. What else? Friendship quiz. This might work. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that loud, like, s slam? Oh, I see, because we have to see who will be good to do the task. I see. Alright. Now, what was that noise? Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Oh, my bad, my bad. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? All right, okay. let's get it, guys. First, first things first, today. we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Hot David. Ah -ha! That's so funny. Okay, so most likely who should climb onto the roof? Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Don't let Heather, but we gotta read through the rest because they be getting me. Most likely to escape prison. Okay, most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David and Heather. So I'm, th I'm, Heather's winning right now. Um, to end up in prison. Oop. To win the reward for. Okay, I think it's Heather. Most likely to trip while running a horror movie. And. He Jimmy, he's the one who ended up dying. But yeah, let's pick Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Oh, part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Okay, so Jennifer, it says, uh, most likely to escape prison. And it said Jennifer, most like to end up in prison, not Jennifer. Um. Jennifer. <sighs> Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Bro. Anyway, that brings us to part three. I didn't mean to pick her already. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's really not easier to think Jennifer, when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's it's the like, next part? Like escape, part four. So. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Ah, uh, David, Cynthia, and Scott. Okay, so Heather's already going to be the lookout, so it can't be Heather. Um. Uh. Okay, most likely to be here. Go karting. Most likely to trip. Obviously, most likely end up in a car crash. No, most likely to win an Oscar. No, most likely to pass it. No. Um, most likely to be beat everyone. I want to go with Hot David because this is uh, most likely to become an Olympic athlete, and Hot David got two. So. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you uh. <laughs> 
spend a lot of time running shirtless. Right. That's hot David. Sweet. Oh. Okay, let's read. Imagine having a Get the hot eyes David. on the roof. Yeah. The runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and Boom. hit the lock on the gate. Boom. Now the tricky part. The getaway. All right. Ooh. What's the plan there? The go well, party. Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of Scott. Teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Oh, poker face. Someone can pretend to be injured. Get a poker face. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? Oh, wait, Oscar. We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. All right, so see the Lisa or Tammy. That's our two. Cynthia's out. Um. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Not Cynthia. Lisa's not even included on here. Tammy got one for worst poker face. I'm gonna go with Lisa. I'm gonna go with Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. <laughs> Bro, this game and is so funny, but it's so good. Here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Getaway should it driver? Be? Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Scott, Forrest, Scott. you know what to do. Okay. So this is hard because most likely to beat everyone at go karting is Scott. I almost chose Scott, like without thinking. But then it says most likely to end up in a car crash is also Scott. And we're not trying to get in a car crash. Cynthia, she's out. So Cynthia's out too, most definitely. Chaz not even on the list for end up in a car crash, but he is in there for beat everyone at go karting. This is so hard. I'm gonna say Chad, man. Yeah, let's Chad. do one, Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just so take a for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good oh luck, God, Carrie. I'm so, I'm, so I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Peggy, you be talking too soon, and end up people dying. Like, ah. Uh. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Ah, uh, y'all need to be quiet, bro. I'm jinxing stuff. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go. So I'm serious. Don't die. <laughs> Don't die, okay? You got this. Here we go, everyone. I'm scared. Smarter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Oh, I'm scared. I just got spotter says go. I'm scared. I'm over here pacing. Wait. Lock picker, go. Okay. Okay. Three. We got three of them. Good. Okay. Lock picker. Come on, lock picker. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh, girl, don't scare me like that. Oh, he's, his face is. The keys. Carrie, you need to get the van keys. Come on, His bro. face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got God. Oh, God. This feels make me anxious. Focus. Breathe. Breathe. I'm anxious. Right. The van keys. We got him. It's up. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Hot David should be back any second. Oh. Perfect. Oh. I can't believe it's actually working. Girl. We're doing great. Focus. It's that getaway jar for me. I'm not a lot of you. It. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Hide. Okay, performer. Like your life depends on it. Ah. Hey, oh. these scenes are lit. Ah. He's buying it. I would love this weekend from you. Now, push the bookshelf over. Ah. 
Sorry guys, I'm over here oh facing God. in the game. Right? He went through the floor! Spotter! You need to climb down now! We gotta go! She's coming down. And yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van! Driver, take the keys! Was that? It's a whistling man. Drive now. Drive. Girl, jump on that car, bro. Freaking fly on that man. So, Spider Man. It. Let me go. Let's go. Hey, do you hear this? Just drive. Oh my God. Did I do something wrong? Was she Harry? gonna die? <sighs> Thank they said. God, you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? <sighs> I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. And it I was know. a great plan. What the freak? Where's the murder house? It was really all you, Carrie. Oh, it was Jeannie, too. I need to get home. I forgot, because she's the one who had that Breathe, friendship Carrie. with. She was on You're point okay with that. Now. I'll call you when I'm that was lit. somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Where is the freaking Folks, murder house? That was, a, that was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents... Hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. All teens except Jimmy survived the whistling man. Hey, yeah, there's we had no a call come in. We were, um, there's no one we were saving that man. Just to let y'all know. I know my office is a little dingy, but. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider you a friend, my man. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> We're friends <laughs> now, huh? Well, Imagine. that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a funny. time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah, back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's also, never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems and 
sharing that burden just took so oh, much no, weight yeah. off. It's a I long story know. from there, but I found Roller Disco. Roller I disco learned how to have fun that? again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from <laughs> it all, man. It's man, important dope. just to talk to somebody. That's that the first true. step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, you guys got oh. me if y'all need to talk. You got oh, me. Hello, Max. Oh. Yeah, welcome to the show, oh, Max. Max is my emotional Yo, he barking because he dog. heard that whistling, man. I'm he's a mad. rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now. Oh, he, real roller rookies right there. Max can skate. Yeah, man. The that guy's like transporting done, everywhere. And then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Sorry. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. I don't want to talk about. my radio off for the night. He's got nothing to do with it. Can I request a song for us? Something I can I might cut this to, out. You know, something out. funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. I really hey. needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, yeah, but I'm, I'm it is inspiring I, I to hear somebody yes, come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What Maybe. are the odds? Better take it. You are something else, bro. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Okay. Hey. That's pretty fine. I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. I don't know, girl. I can't tell you. Why, why am I why still what, alive? Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did, why let me go? I don't know. It can't be he saw you as a victim because all of his victims are literally victims. He wanted the pranksters? He got bored. I doubt he got bored. I'm gonna say he wanted the Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. For impersonating I, him. Maybe. Did you just think everyone was making fun of him? That's what did I'm thinking. Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, I'm if thinking he, did, he didn't like people. Why wait all him? these years to. Why do this now? Girl, the I can stupid tell you. hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. No, Peggy, you yap a hey, lot for somebody who's in a room that's locked. Could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. Yeah. What song? And Peggy didn't throw it out the window. My blast processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Because Peggy, she over here like, yeah, just hold on. Help is on the way. You know, Carol? what Carrie just said has She's really got me thinking. Room. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. I'm well, it's something to consider. Very hungry. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Thank Just God. hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Ooh, thank God. Let's take a walk around, guys. But I didn't really get to look at everything. Only the things that, um, those are bugs. That's, that's amazing. Um, we can't go in those rooms. 
Then we go back downstairs. I feel like there's more downstairs than I really get to look at. Or up here. Oh, we can't go up there. Okay, make sure they're the same. I want to explore more on her side. Uh, let's see. Hello. Da -da. Can we answer that? Can we? No? Uh, what else? There's nothing really, honestly. I think we saw everything. I just wonder what's gonna be next, y'all. Is this like the end of the game? Like, are we nearing the end? Oh, let me close the door. Like, imagine if like the developers had it where like um they had it where if you didn't open the close the door, that you can like the killer would come up in the door and he'll just sit there looking at you. Like you would just be talking to somebody. And the killer's in the doorway. Like, that would be actually so scary. Let's get going. Whoa. Peggy. That Alrighty. would be so cool. We could run another time. segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. Watch me the whistling man. You're through to 189.16. The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Is this the lady who wanted that song? Still, I'm... But I'm glad the girl that. didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? Is it whistling in a ask woman? You again to play my song for us. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. I your didn't name was it. Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. Peggy, I want to throw this record my at your face. My name is Dawn, and I wanted Freaking to ask peon. you again to play my tune for us. Wanna... Long ride home? You know. The one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? But we don't have that song. As you just said, Peggy threw it out the window. But, Forrest, you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? Which is where? Miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Which is where, girl? Tell me where this old murder house is. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Who? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is she saying the information's in the song, she or she like give Peggy? us information? She's if we serious play song? about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about? I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Yo, I have to go outside. If she's telling the truth, I want to throw up. Why don't you go? Then why don't you, you go? You threw it out the window. It. It's one of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll say the booth. I can't leave the booth while we're on air. I'll say the booth. Just. You can do it, Yo, okay? Yo, Peggy about to catch these hands Fine. Up. You're a good man, Forrest. Shut up, Peggy. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Shut up, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh... You know, I never thought about it. But, yeah. We should so talk to Reggie about that So there's a fire we're gonna later. die? Anyway, I'll so hold the down pee? while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. I want to. Oh, the screw. Let me out. With Let me, me at her. Peg. Let me at her. She's pissing me off. Freaking tell myself something. I can't leave. Girl, I'll gladly sit in that station. This lady want me to go get her freaking record. It better be. The information better be in here. This is the fire door? Oh, no, it's not. Downstairs. He said, I don't know, man. I will see, man. He fast. 
No, he is fast. Y'all saw that on the map in the other episodes. He literally was transporting miles away in matters of minutes, bro. This is where we heard the whistling in the... You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Oh my god. Out here? In the open? I'm so scared. Hello? Of course, be quiet, man. You can't sprint either, y'all, so don't be blaming me. Out the window. What is this? Freight elevator? Do we are we gonna need that later? I'm gonna think it's this way because her office should be like right there. That's locked. <gasps> I don't know if y'all saw that. I'm sorry, I got so scared. Kai with a C, please zoom in. Oh my god, he was right there. Here it is. Long ride home. Forest! 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 I'm good. Forest! <laughs> Are you not going to speak on what we just saw? I mean, I did see Of course. See it. it locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Yo. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. Bro, a, why? A door, elevator, elevator something. I know that's out. Why are we gonna need this? We don't need that, so we don't keep that. And that's broken too. Only the best for Let's See if I can fix this. Looks like a power issue. Okay, so I should check the fuse switches. box. So we got all these switches out here. Yo, that was so scary. He was just sitting there too, y'all. Oh my god, that's Lauren. She scared the dookie, dookie out of me. Alright, so we got different switches all on the floor here. So I guess we're gonna need all those. That whistling man scared me. He's not there no more. Okay. Oh, yo, I got so scared oh maybe I shouldn't have done that looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses I should not have done that and Peggy's gonna catch these hands because she really could have told me you know she pissed me off bro Yo, I tell her, did I say I she pissed me off alright that fuse is gone I chucked that thing so I hope we're not gonna need it I just realized, what do all of these say? I just threw them up. Frack. I didn't know. I just started throwing them. All right, bro. We're gonna have to be. We're gonna have to play around a little bit. And that can't happen in my inventory. I think I can. I think there's a way I can put the fuses in my inventory. I'm gonna check it out right now. All right, there you go. Okay. Well, I can't get that fuse right now. Um, is there another one? Yeah, so, yeah, this is how you get two of them. Bro, that freaking fuse is on the freaking floor. And I can't get it, so I don't know how I'm about to do that. Oh, he is literally stalking his station right now, too. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right here, but... Yo, I'm scared, yo. I'm really gonna fight Peggy. Like, best believe that. Best believe mother freaking that, y'all. Nah, that's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? Add up? I'm guessing the 70? Alright, they got me doing math. 30, 60, obviously you can't do the 30, that's too high. Uh, so they gotta add up. So 30, 45, 45 plus 5 is 50, 50, 60, 70, 20. So that's a 5 right there. Or we could do uh, 3, 6, 7. Yeah, so I could take this out, throw that, uh, put, take this, right there, 30, 60, and then that should be 70. Uh, 
right, let's do it. Bingo! There we go. I'm smart, I know. I could probably survive that fall. Can we close it now? Yo, he's gonna get in here like this. That is open. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Clive. Alright, so, I don't know, again, if you guys didn't watch the other parts, you should have been watching by now, because I just said a bunch of spoilers in this episode. But, Clive, um... Oh my god, that scared me! Look at that! What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Huh, there's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Yo, wait, hold on. Okay, so Clive, a lady was getting like, she was about to die from the whistling man. And she said, Clive, is that you? I can't believe that's you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't do it. And they were like, Clive, or gender name's Clive. Okay, so. What we got here? Marriage announcement. Are these all the victims? Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Captain Chuck Brody suffered a festival disaster. Chuck, Rebecca, Kim. I don't I don't recognize any of these. Hospital, gas station, trailer park, power station. Bro, I don't. So I'm guessing these are all the people in his class. Maybe there is something with, um, let's see here. Because Peggy was saying something about the hazing rituals. And he he literally saved her. Like, not saved her, but like, he spared her, basically. Um, I know we're going to do something with this. nothing in there that thing's terrifying um yeah i know i'm gonna need this later though but i'm what i'm not liking what i'm not liking is that right there that right motherfucking there how he can literally get in i can't close it just trash ew oh. i'm so scared right now please somebody ew bugs okay hmm. i wonder how the show's going so I'm guessing he's telling us to go back. Dang, what's over here? It's locked. Nothing in there. Okay. This is getting crazy. The lore, like, everything. Yo, he's he's getting here into that elevator. I guarantee you, right? Motherfucker now. Because that door not closed. I, it don't matter because he's going to get in here. Like, it really don't matter what I do right now. Because we're going to die. We're going to die so Yep, yeah, I just literally walked the way the killer's gonna walk. Like, isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Peggy, I'm really about something to did happen. Fight you. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The uh, the fire door locked on. All right, so that is going to be it for episode five. But there was a lot of information we learned. First, Clive. Clive the janitor. Uh, we found that spooky lair, which is crazy. We went outside. We saw the whistling man stalking the building. Forrest is just too dumb to see it. So we found out Clive has a secret lair in his locker in the janitor's closet. Um, what else? Uh, he spared the teenage girl, that little girl. Um, spared her for we don't know why. My theory is he got bullied in high school and now he's coming back with a vengeance and posing as a whistling man. So whistling man should be dead by now. Like, um, so yeah, so this episode was mainly information based. We're finding out about the killer. We still got quite a bit to go with this game. So I will see you guys in the next part. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it all part. I might do two more parts. But I'm loving this series and I'm going to be so sad when it comes to the end. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Kai's Chaos, where I play games and love the games by me. This is...